Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 23 in chapter 6. In this one, we have a space shuttle, which is moved on this circle. And then this circle is just 880 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, so we tell it is H. Okay. And then from the center of the Earth to the surface of Earth, we know the radius of the Earth is R. So in this way, we can see the space shuttle do the circle motion. The radius is must be the earth of the radius of the earth plus the h. Do you agree? Yes. The next one asks you how fast must the shuttle be moving when it release when the release occurs. So it, that means we need to find the velocity and this is circle motion. Do you agree? And then we need to consider uh, for the central mo the circle motion the Central force, the net force, comes from the gravitational force, right? So this gravitational force uh, equals the mass times acceleration. This acceleration is the central acceleration, v squared divided by r. And then gravitational force is a g, the earth of the mass, the mass of the earth, capital M, times the m, mass, r squared. In this one, we can get the velocity, is squared gm divided by r, the capital R plus h, this one. And after you input all the known quantities, the earth of the mass, the radius, uh, the radius of the earth, the capital G, then you get the final answer. Thank you.